Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Martin Shimmerton and this is a tour of the Photos app. So let's click in and begin with a few orientation uh, points. On the lower right, you can see a little magnifying glass. If you click that, that's just search and you can see people, you can see places and you can click into these or at the bottom it says types, videos, creations, Google Drive. Now, if I come across to the upper left, if I go into search, guess what? It's the same search. Right, so that's how we find things. If I want to find pictures of my buddy John, I can click in there and it will go and it will see other photos of John. All right, same with places and the same with things. And you can see you've got Benji there and you've got other things going on. If I click in, let's go for creations, then it will bring up those creations that have either been auto-made, which I'll come on to, or you can make yourself. Right, so that's how you search, but the, the starting point really is that you've got photos in this particular area. Click on the upper right and you've got a few things here. You've got select, so that would give you the option to select a few photos. You've got to work out what to do with them after, but there we go, but that's the select. You've then got comfortable view, which is that, that view. There we go, I did lots of pictures of the bench. There we go, okay. Comfortable view there, or you could have the month view, or you could have the year view, and you can skim through there. Let's now come back, let's go to the month view. Right, next. Click in on the little plus sign here, you can create new. Now this is pretty cool. If you haven't explored this, then I'm going to do a quick tour. So you can create an album, which is pretty straightforward. You would choose the ones that you want there, and you create an album, and you would then, I think, name the album. There, we name the album, and you could click to share. Right, straightforward. Next, if we go, I don't want to go there yet, I'll stay with photos. If we go to the next one down, movie, this is very cool. So you can collect, you can select a load of different things. So it could be photos, could be videos. I've got, I've got to think of maybe I've got videos that I've done and da, 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 I don't know how much I need to collect here. But if I create the movie, Google doing this right now, they add music to it and they make it something which is pretty amazing. I have no idea what, what ones I've created by the way, but this then I can title and I can, if I show down at the bottom, I can also change the look of this by clicking across all of these options. There we go, just pause that. And I can change the music. I can choose the music from there, suggested. Really pretty amazing. And I can also, if I click in there, I can, for instance, delete a particular, I'm not gonna delete Benji, let's delete one of the other things there. There we go. So I could trash that and it would remove. Explore, they do get auto created as well, but it is huge, right? So let's now, oh no, let's stick with it. So stay, as we come back, go into photos, come back onto the plus. Right, so that was movie. Story, same sort of principle. You're gonna select them, Google's gonna turn it into a story. And then we come to animation. I did this the other day, and you select a load of images that you want, and you can turn it into a GIF just by clicking create, which animates it. And collage, same sort of principle. You would select between two and nine photos and it will turn it into like a little passport photo ecology thing, which is great. Collage, not collage, collage. So there you go, so you've got a really big creators app in this particular app. Now coming across, let's now go down to collections. If you click on these, I've got all selected, but I could go to albums and show me the albums I've got. I could go to the movies that are created. I could go to the stories that are created. Now, this is very cool. So if I take this one, so I'm now going to go in, and if I were to title it, I'm gonna go Benj, there we go, title that. If I then save, if I want to share it, by clicking on the share icon at the top, and it's just saving the video now down at the bottom. But if I want to share it, it brings up the options that I, or where I can share it. I could share it to Facebook or, or, or Google Plus or to an email or wherever. Slide down, let's go back out of that. So the idea is that this is really a place for you to create or as well as to store and then share things onwards. Scrolling down, I can see all of the different types, but let's just say I want to see the stories. 
click in one of those, a hilarious day out, and I can just skim through bit by bit, doo -doo -doo, and I could add descriptions in there as well. Lots of fun to be planned, to be had, to be played with. Okay, come into the, the left hand side again. Let's now go to shared links and you see the links that I have. Shared, if I click in one, I can copy the link. I could delete the link, which means that people won't be able to see that content anymore. Coming across. If I go to device folders, it shows me that the folders on this particular device, I'm on a Samsung S6, that I could then choose, like screenshots and things like that. If I go to trash, you're gonna see what I put into trash. Now, settings. This here is an important thing, and I like, there's one, let's go into here, there's one thing. Well, firstly, I have notify off. I don't want, I have notify on rather, but vibrate off. I don't want to be sort of buzzed all of the time. I could have geolocation um, on or off. I can uh, show Google Drive photos in this particular. So we've got the link between Google Plus and Drive. Now, this in here, if I click into assistant cards, I like this. New creations, cards for things. Let me know if, if I'm getting creations made, but also we rediscover this day. Click on that and let's see what happens because that could be interesting. Just a little reminder what happened maybe over the last years. Got other things in here like group similar faces, um, you know, auto group photos of matching faces. That's kind of handy for, for discovery. There you go. Have a look in the, the settings, which you'll find, let's say from the, the top there into the settings bit down there. You've also got help and feedback. Now, I want to give you a really thorough tool, but let's just go to something super, super simple. And let's say you want to share a picture of a curry. Mm, okay, well, before we get to that, let's go to the upper right. I could turn it into a slideshow. There's things we can say, as I said, these are big apps, everybody. So you can have a slideshow of the events around that. So I just turned it on there. I could add it to album. I could use as, and I could use it as my wallpaper on the phone for instance, or I could delete, delete it. I could print it, things. I can also click into edit. Now that was a little button at the bottom and I can change, there we go. Oh, it looks even more delicious, love that. Play with those. I can also do things to make it. Uh, let's focus on the curry there. And maybe I want to orientate it. No, I won't, no, I won't. I'll, I'll leave it like that, but you get the idea. And then when you click, it will then have made that particular edit. I click on there, or there, or there. You can see you've got those options down at the bottom. Let's discard those changes. Now, if I click on the share, again, it brings up the share. We can share it wherever we want. And of course, with trash, it would then delete that particular image and move on to the next one. I'm gonna undo that. Who would wanna bin a curry? Anyway, that, ladies and gentlemen, is largely the functionality, and you see at the top, there's actually another thing there. You can be moving up and down. That's There's so much to it. But I think that if you have a look at what works for you, adapt it, play around, shape it. But this is very much about storytelling. And I think what Google are giving us is the opportunity to create content which tells better stories. And there we have it. I'm Mark Shumpton, and I shall see you ready for the next session.